What's up everyone? A few quick things before the start of this video. Uh, I have made a bet with the people of the internet that if this YouTube channel can get 20,000 subscribers before April 1st, I will do a 500 butterfly for time and post it. People seem to love watching me hurt in races and I like making fun bets with everyone. So yeah, take a second and subscribe and I really appreciate it. And then the other thing is I'm on Cameo. If you want a personalized message from me, you can request it there. And with that being said, let's get into this vlog. This is gonna be a travel vlog video. Um, I am going to San Antonio, Texas to compete in the Tier Pro Swim Series. I'm gonna be swimming the 50, 100, and 200 freestyle. And so yeah, hopefully I can get some cool footage of maybe the travel and the meet. Um, I already swam this morning and now I am about to go pick up the apple. I just realized something. This is my first long course meet since March of last year, of 2020. Uh, in the, the meet at Iowa. That is crazy. I hope I remember how to swim meters. So I thought of something. You know how like people do, uh, if you get this many likes, you know how we did that 200 for, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I was thinking like, if I get a certain amount of subscribers, I should do something. I think like, if I get a certain number, I should give out Cody's phone number and address <laughs> so, so that people can send him things. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah. The next day. Check out this rental car that USA Swimming slash Toyota gave us for the week. It's pretty sweet. And this is my personal driver. <laughs> Andy drove here last, I can't fit. Ah! <laughs> we are going to H E B. Never been to Heb. Heb? I think it's here everything's better. Is it really? Yeah, I think so. But it's also, right. we looked it up when we were last time. It, it's also the initials of the guy who, who... The head. The head. The headquarters. Headquarters. <laughs> About to go on my first HEB. Okay, we just went to our HEB. Very underwhelming. Yeah. It was nothing special. Not <laughs> yeah, definitely yeah. Over I don't know why people say it's an amazing grocery store. It was definitely a very average grocery store. We have made it to our training pool for the day. We're not allowed to get in the comp pool yet, so this is the training pool. It's just a high school pool, but it is it is pretty nice. All right, practice is over. I don't know what Bailey's doing. Working harder than Blake. <laughs> We're gonna have to edit that out. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, we're gonna have to edit all this out. Oh, there he is. Oh, what a good boy. <laughs> we made it to the comp pool. Here's what it looks like. Okay, so a couple of us just did uh, our practice for the day, essentially. It was only like 3,000 just to get the body moving and get ready for racing tomorrow. Marwan El Kamash is swimming the mile tonight, and we're coming back to watch that and see see how he does. He's going for, going for a best time in that, so we'll see. Just swam prelims at 100 free. Second, third seed. Felt pretty nope. good. Nope, second, fourth, but close. Close enough. Yago's about to swim the two fly. I just swam the final of the 100 free. It didn't feel too bad, actually. My legs are screaming right now, but they feel like that after every race, so I'm gonna go cool down. 
Okay, I thought it would be a good exercise to uh, do a deep dive of the races last weekend, the 100 and the 200 freestyle, and this is the best way I could figure out uh, how to record the screen and the webcam, so hopefully this works out okay and you guys can hear me and everything. Um, so here's the A final of the 100 freestyle from the San Antonio Pro Swim. And I'm just gonna go over what I thought of the race, make some comments, and just, this is actually my first time watching the video, so it'll also be kind of a reaction video. Um, so yeah, let's, let's see. So I'm in lane five here. It's an okay entry. Oh my goodness. I would say this is the biggest part of my races that needs the most improvement or the mo most work. So I'm not even to 15 yet. And here's Ryan Held, Maxime, you know, already at arm, arm length past 15. So I really need to get up here um, earlier in the race. Jeez, yeah, you can see how far behind. And this is only 100 freestyle. You know, there's 75 meters left. Being half a body length behind at the 25 is obviously not what you want. But this looks fine. Uh, it doesn't look too force, and I'm not spinning too hard. Okay, I think I flipped sixth at the wall, but the turn looks solid. It's okay. Okay, so here is the 75 meter mark. I'm in like fourth place, I guess. Looks fine so far. Um, had a pretty good second 50 split, so Maxime's starting to fall off a little bit. Yeah, good, good 10 meter finish. Solid swim, solid swim. I'm pretty happy with that. The uh, the dive to 15 meter mark is absolutely what I need to work on the most, and that's what I'm going to be spending a lot of time on. So now back to the video. Prelims of day two here in Texas. I am super motivated to do this 200 free this morning, right? Just talk, we're gonna talk ourselves into this. <laughs> Bailey has the easy of it today. Bailey only has a 4 a.m. this morning, so. No problem. <laughs> okay, here's the 200 free from last weekend in San Antonio. I'm in lane six here. Hopefully you guys can see this. Um, the 200 free hurt so much more than the 100 free, I couldn't believe it. So right off the bat, this is looking a little bit too forced for the first 50 of a 200 freestyle. If you can look at Andrew, his stroke is so much longer and it looks like it's taking a lot less effort. I'm kind of like forcing it and pushing it a little too much for the first 50. Good turn though. Oh wow, look at the difference in the stroke tempo from the first 50 to the second 50. If I could just flip the tempo and the effort from the first 50 to the second 50, I think it would make a huge difference in the overall time of the swim. But overall, I was pretty happy with this. This is the 100 wall here. Andrew taking that out really fast. I flipped in 53.0. That's an okay turn. Oh my gosh, Sally destroyed everyone on that turn. At this point, I was thinking like, wow, it hurts a lot for it only being the 100 wall, but you know, it is what it is. It's a good, good race here with most of the field. Eh, not a great turn, kind of looked, picked my head up into it. And I was basically completely dead here. That's how it felt at least. The stroke doesn't look too bad though. I'm kind of surprised. This is uh, Cotter, who swims at Florida. Came home really, really well. Oh man, so they tightened up hard. Wow, it looked a lot better than it felt. I'm kind of surprised, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, I don't know, pretty happy with the two free and let's go back. All right, I just swum the finals of the two free and it hurt very bad. Uh, I was kind of surprised how bad it hurt. Maybe I just forgot how bad the tuna free long course feels, but whatever. Uh, I got second behind Andrew Seliscar. Bailey just went a lifetime best time in the 4 a.m. So that is awesome. 
So that is it for day two of the San Antonio meet. So that's it for the San Antonio vlog video. I didn't get like any footage from day three, but I only swam 150 and there wasn't a whole lot of other interesting stuff that day. So uh, I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if we get to 20,000 subscribers before April 1st, I'm gonna do a 500 fly per time and I'm gonna peer pressure Cody into racing me in it. So let's try and do that and I will catch you in the next video. Oh my body, I'm an icon, and my girl about a 10.